in serious toothache, accompanied with terrible headache, for about two weeks before the crusade. I had gone to see a dentist who recommended washing my teeth and the use of fluoride toothpaste as solution. But after washing my teeth and continuously using the fluoride toothpaste, the situation became worse. On the third day of the crusade, the pain was so much that I could not even open my mouth to sing or pray while on the crusade ground. The ache was excruciating on my back, head, ear, eye, and teeth. During the pastor's prayer, I placed my hand on my cheek as instructed by the pastor. At the last amen, the pains vanished away until today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't go yet. Please stay where you are. Testimony time. Don't go yet. The program is not over. We stay now proceed next. to Calabar live. Monies. The first is Sister Maria Udiba. Sister Maria Udiba had leg pains for two weeks. But during the program on Thursday, after the prayer of the servant of God, the pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. Next is Sister Esther Anietien. On Sunday, as she left her house, she felt a sharp pain in her neck. But she continued to the church after the prayer of the servant of God on Sunday, 27th of June, 2021. The power of God touched her neck. The pain vanished. Praise the Lord. The last one is Sister Comfort Ubong Abasi. What God did for her was in April during swearing above. The sister had received the prophetic declaration of the man of God that none of us will die prematurely, mysteriously. As she got home, she sent her daughter to go and buy kerosene so she could cook. The daughter went, bought the kerosene, and left. So the sister was cooking. She didn't know. Cooked all. The children came. The whole family ate. When it was done evening, they wanted to put on the generating set. So she sent the daughter to go and buy petrol. In the process, the daughter discovered that the same rubber she is about carrying to buy petrol is what she used in buying what the mother had sent her as kerosene. She quickly ran, told the mom, they emptied the kerosene stove into the generating set. Started the gen, the gen started. God delivered her family from explosion. What had happened through the prophetic declaration of the man of God? The power of God converted the petrol to kerosene when she needed kerosene. And now she needed petrol, the same kerosene was converted to petrol. Somebody shout hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's come down here. Yes, the next testifier. Let's have the first testifier. Please, you tell us your name quickly, what the Lord has done for you. Praise the Lord! My name is Sister Christy Oke. I'm from Kujay region. The location that I come from is Ido. I really bless the name of the Lord for what God has done for me in this program. On 18th of this month, my daughter have done serious tests on me. On 18, I was in the market. When he called me that I should come down now, 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 I said, what is happening? When he said that I didn't come, he told, she told me that my sugar level has rose up to 470. I just laughed it off. I said, when Baba is coming, is that time that I'm going to have a problem? So I came down to, to her. He said, how am I feeling? I said, I'm not feeling anything. So that night, they gave me two drips. From that time, they will be testing me. Sometimes it will be 300 plus. Sometimes it will come down to 200. But I started praying. 
that God is on the throne. Because I know that there is power in the word of God. I want to tell you now that on 25th, when I came here, that I'm hearing the word of God. The only transcending touch of God taught me that very day. I feel the something in my life, in my body. Do you know? With the day for yesterday, when they tested me, the thing come down to 77. My child said that it's not like that. He doesn't believe. She too, because she's in medical, this thing. So she too, she tested me. The same result. I really bless the name of the Lord that the Lord deliver me from the power of diabetes. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Divine connection. Hypertension gone. Whatever the enemy has planted in your life is gone and gone forever in Jesus' name. Miracle. You will receive yours. Yes, the next testifier. Praise the Lord. I am here to testify the goodness of the Lord upon my life. My coming here is like I have seen Jesus. Because I am not a member of Deeper Life Church, but when I have a colleague, he invited me yesterday. He told me that the daddy in the Lord is in the town. I should try and come. I say, who is that daddy? He now tell me that he's our daddy in the Lord, Pumuye, is in the town. I say, wow. That name, I have been hearing it. I have never seen him face to face. I say, I'm living in Nasarawa. I say, Kai, I don't have financial need. I didn't have transport. He said, I should not be worried. If I can come, he will transport me. I say, it's all right. I have made up my mind. I'm coming to see daddy and Jesus. And I came here with the clutches. Immediately I stepped into that gate. One man greeted me. He told me that I will never walk with a stick. And I, and I proclaimed and I believe that this place will be my last bus stop. And I came in here to thank God. When daddy started preaching, the man that invited me, he told me, this is the Kumuye. I said, wow. Me, I'm not seeing him like Kumi. I'm seeing him like a Jesus to me. Because by seeing him, I have never seen him in my life. My standing here, I got accident since 2016. On my way to the market, because I'm a businesswoman. I broke up the two two lab. So they treated one in the hospital, one is all right. But the second one, since 2016, I complete five years on the 24th of this month, suffering with one leg. I said, so, and this man invited me yesterday. I said, Kai, this month will be the last month that I will work with clutches. And I thank God I come in here. All my siblings, all my brothers are looking for money to take me to surgery. I'm looking for 550000 and which I didn't have five naira. I said, so. I didn't have transport to come here, but I believe and they said whenever two or three are gathering, he's there. Then I believe in that word, daddy preached, the man of God speak, he said, when you believe and you trust with faith, you will never remain the same. When daddy said that word to me, I was sitting down there, I was saying, that word is coming to me. It's not coming to anybody here, it's rather it's coming to me. And I believe I was standing there praying. I'm saying, the way this man will speak, he's not the one speaking, it's God that is speaking. When I put that in my mind, Daddy started praying. He said, We should lay our hand on that place that is painting out. I tried to put this hand. This hand is not, it's too short for me. I started to put this one. I said, No, I can't carry left hand to God. Let me use the right one and support this one with the left hand. I was trying, forcing myself. I put my hand there. I was started feeling pain all over. The leg is paining me. For me to stand, I was shivering. I was shivering. When daddy said, Amen. I was seeing light. Bright light into my eyes. I say, wow. My coming here is a joy to me. I've seen him first, 
and this to be the first and forever and ever. I'm giving God the glory. Hallelujah. She connected by faith, bright light from heaven, healing for her body, crutches no more. Amen. Since 2016, the problem had persisted, but tonight, eliminated. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord has done it. Go in peace and remain healed. Yes, the next testifier. Quickly, tell us your name and what the Lord has done. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. By the grace of God, my name is Sister Mercy Audu from Guagualda region. And my testimony goes like this. Fifteen years ago, I felt sick. So it turned out that it was stroke. And it left the left side of my body paralyzed. So since then, I was in, I've been in the hospital. I was admitted that uh, 15 years ago. I was six weeks unconscious, but the Lord helped me and healed me. And I woke up, I was healed. But even then, I couldn't be able to work very well. I couldn't do anything but with, my, with myself, except somebody helped me. So the brother and my daughter has been the one helping me all through. Then by the grace of God, I went to the Africa White Crusade that our GS conducted that, that time, that, at that time. And that time God touched me, I received my healing. From there, I started working all by myself without the crutches, I mean, without working stick. Then, but, and I kept on doing my work without using working stick. Then, in 2018, I fell down. The, uh, the leg that was paralyzed got broken. So I was admitted into the hospital for surgery. Because they need to, they said they need to put iron in the leg before they can mend the, the bones. So God saw me through the surgery also. It was successful. But since then I couldn't walk with a, or by myself again, I have to use stick to walk. But then when I came for this uh, divine crusade, divine connection crusade, on that Thursday, I came. On Saturday, on Saturday, I also came. And the Lord touched me. And from went out without using the walking stick. I went for my Bible study all day without using the walking stick. So I said, today I must give my testimony that God has helped me and has healed me. In fact, my life has been a testimony. Because for me to have been sick in, in course for six weeks, is the grace of God that I'm alive today. I give the God the glory. I praise God for what he has done for me. I also want to thank the church of God because this church is a church of love. They have loved me so much. They took care of me every time. They have provided for all my needs. They took care of me. So I just love this church. That is good. This church is a holiness church and it's a God of love. Thank you for our Father and the Lord that has been helping us with the word of truth. God will bless him forever. Amen. Thank you. That's Amen. Paralysis gone, alive by the glory of God, by the power of God, to the glory of God. And the Lord will keep you alive, serving him in Jesus' name. Amen. Next testifier, quickly. The next testifier. You tell us your name, where you come from, what the Lord has done for you. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Sister Jane Ebed. I'm from Rosal region. On the Abund Abundant Life Group, Triumphant District. I want to testify the goodness of God upon my life. Uh, by the grace of God, I'm saved. And since then, the Lord has been helping me. There was a, a long-standing problem in my, uh, in my life, which I don't know the time that the problem came. And I told God that as I didn't know the time, God will take it away. And by the grace of God, Adabi has been coming here for many programs I've been attending. And I promise God that, Lord, if you did it for me, I will testify to your glory. And by the grace of God, the affliction is cut, just cut out. It is common. But any time I'm going out, I have to go with extra handkerchief. I could not sleep without handkerchief. Extra every time. Anytime I'm going out, I have to go out with handkerchief, many handkerchiefs, and everything will be wet. 
But I promised God, I kept on crying and promised God that God, if you deliver me, I will come and testify to the glory of God. And my brethren, I believe God, God has done it. And I didn't know the day that God took it away. And as I'm standing, everything is dried up. And I bless the name of God. My second testimony, this month, I was not able to move out when I heard that my father in the Lord is coming. Over three weeks now I was down of malaria and typhoid. But thank God, when I heard that he's coming, I went to the hospital, I was treated, but later I was not myself. But when I heard that he's coming, the very day, I managed myself to go to the program. And after the first prayer, I laid my hand on my head, my head I was heavy like stone. God Almighty healed and delivered me completely. I say, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Typhoid, fever, pain in the head, affliction of abnormal sweating, everything gone. She's healed. She's delivered. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Grace Ruben. I'm from Abundance Group, Orozo Region. I'm here to testify the goodness of God in my, in my life of this, my baby. I just want to, I want to happily announce the final exit and permanent exit of Pi in the life of this, my baby. Three months ago, she, she, she pulled in the uh, weekend, she pulled over the weekend. I wanted to clean her fire, you know, I saw something came out from the annals. I said, what's this? I quickly rushed the next class. Because my neighbor there, she's a retired nurse. I, she said, I spied. I said, pipe from where? So I, I, she said, I should take her to the hospital. I take her to the hospital. The doctor was just saying different things. Was not really giving me what I want to hear. And I said, I just, she has to live with it. That's one of the things, uh, uh, once the pile uh, uh, maybe gets worse, I can take her for pressure either in national hospital or cafe or a Sokoro. I said, that's not a pressure. A small girl like this, that's less than a, she's just less than two years. Just a year and seven months with pile. I said, I will not do that. I have to call my mother-in-law, my mom. They said, she used to leave. I used no avail. My brother-in-law bought a local house of 7,000. I said, I should use. I said, I can't use it. My husband said, I should test it before I use it. I said, ha. Now you test it. Now you are the head of the family. Test it. Let's see. So, my husband have to test it. Ah, that the thing is smelling like a dead rat. But I have no choice because I don't know what else to do. I have to pray for it. I say, God, these are useless. Put them to heal the blind. Use this one. I, but I know I've depended upon him. I know you will do something. I was, I was using it. Nothing happened. I met my pastors with my, with pray, my group pastor. I said, I should not worry. It shall come to pass. When out of this announcement, I, every night I'll wake up and be crying. I say, God, this program will bring an end to this because I see there's no solution. But I depend on you. That very on, on Friday, after the choir ministry, I was moving the mountain. As soon as daddy came up, he led the opening prayer. She showed me, said, pull, pull. I took her heart, she pulled. I removed the pampas, she pulled. I checked, I did not see anything. I said, God, you pile, I cost you forever. You will never appear in this body in the name of Jesus. I said, okay, I said, I'll see watch. On Saturday, she, I, said, I, have to, I have to use prayer to all her animals. I said, when you go to school, don't pull, pull. I said, when you come back home, before you pull. Because I don't want to be, uh, uh, explain to any teacher what's happening. So, since for that three months, she don't pull in school. So when she come home, she will pull. And whenever she pull, that thing will come out. So on Friday, that's a Friday evening, when I took her out, she pulled, I did not see anything. I said, God, God has started, you will be permanent. On Saturday, she pulled, I checked, nothing again. On, on, on Sunday, she pulled, nothing. Even this evening, she said, Mommy, she said, pull, pull. I took her out, move her, Papa, she pulled, nothing. I pray that it shall be permanent forever in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. They said there must be operation to remove the power, but she believed, she connected, God has done it. The testimony is there. She has proven that it is done. Lord, we do your own also in Jesus' name. This is a miracle. Yes, the next testifier, quickly. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I'm John Ode from Central Districts in Pape Group, Abu Jari John. I want to give thanks to the Lord for all the Lord did for me on Sunday. Before that, I had an accident 2018 when I began the journey for my marriage. 
the accidents occur. The first one was, I work with AEDC. We went for cash drive that fateful day with my team. When we got there, I climbed the first pole, the second pole, the third pole. That place actually was to be out for that day, was to be on the shading. But unfortunately, the person that was to locate that place could not locate it. I was working bare hand because we're thinking it's a deadline, not knowing that the fuse were not removed. When I climb up, they restored. When they restored, I heard the conductor. The conductor gripped me, my head from to the toe was just shaking on the ladder. The person that was marching ladder for me on the ground ran away. All I could say that Jesus, I am dying. If I discover the electric fling me from the pole, I landed with my bottom. When they rushed me to the hospital, the first hospital there, they said they cannot treat me. They now took me to my Tama General Hospital. When I got there, they said I should go for X-ray. They took me to the X-ray room. They did all the lies. They said I have pelvic fracture. They, they took me to the orthopedic room. They started treatment put five liters of keg on my leg and hand it on the bed. I shouldn't stand up for the next one month. I was there with him. Everything I did it there. But to God be the glory at the end. At that time, GS was even having programming in stadium. Somebody connected me. I received my healing. They gave me crushes. I started working with crushes. I refused to go to my house because I was feeling ashamed. After the whole thing, God did wonders. I started working again. Praise the Lord. I went for my marriage issue again. Coming back, the vehicle I boarded had an accident. The first one was it somersetted straight into the pit. Somersetted the first time, second one, we landed into the river. The scar pieces beyond repair. They took me to the hospital again. What they could say, I have pelvic fracture. But to God be the glory. I said to God be the glory. Yes, on Sunday, I was to be moderated in my district. My pastor, I mean, one of our leaders was calling me. I told my wife, I said, they said I want to, uh, they were telling me for moderation. But I don't want to moderate. I want to really have my time to pray. But my wife said, no, pick the call. I picked the call. Pastor said, okay, you are moderating this evening. I said, okay. When I, I never knew there is a miracle on the stage. When I got to the stage, after the man of God prayed, my dear, a long-standing problem for four years now that I've been feeling pain. I cannot carry anything heavy on this my right leg because this is the leg I have the fracture. But on Sunday, the whole thing disappeared. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord. The fracture, the pain, the affliction of the adversary, gone from his life forever. Amen. We are healed, brother, in Jesus' name. Uh, after this one, we move to the media center. We want uh, the media section to get ready. Spotlighting and uh, in, uh, social media. We want to know what the Lord has done. Yes, the next testifier from here. Praise the Lord. I will thank God for today. I am a Yusuf Sabo by name. I have an accident for three months and nine days today, if I'm not mistaken. I stay at Karimo, but where I'm receiving my treatment, I receive my treatment at uh, Shereti after Kabusa. So on my way to my house, for where I receive my treatment in Shereti there, I now meet one woman. Although when the woman was coming, my spirit texts me that the woman she's coming to my side. And when the woman get to reach my side, she said, "Brother, good evening." And I greeted her. She said, "Am I a Muslim or a Christian?" I said, "I'm a Muslim." She said, "Am I? I did I believe on God?" I said, "Yes, I believe on God." I said, "Did I have faith?" I said, "Yes, I have faith." He said, "I believe on God." He asked me three times. I said, "Yes, I believe on God." He said, "Okay, that is a program they have." So he wants me to be on that program, and by the grace of God, I will be healed. I said, to, okay, there is no problem. God should lead us to that day. And he invited me yesterday, so there is a rain yesterday, which I couldn't make it. So today, very early, the woman and I came to my house. 
He said, so today is final day for the prayer. So am I going to make it? I said, yes. And later on, the woman now called me again that the boss will be coming later. Hour, so I should start coming. He now gave me the direction, which I am here now. And what the woman told me, that things have been happening like that for those who have proper land. If I come, I will see it myself and wish the Lord have done it. I take my two eyes and see it. Not that I sit at home. Somebody come and told me that the Lord have healed somebody. No, I use my two eyes, my body, and weakness it. Which I'm sure, guys, I don't even know what to say. If the pastor himself, my prayer for the living God to continue giving him the power. Which whatever word he say from his mouth, he shall walk to every one of us here. That Amen. is my prayer. Amen. Deliver from all the afflictions that kept him from his, uh, being able to walk free. That's now, it. no more need of crutches. He saw the crutches up. The Lord has touched his bone, touched his muscles, healed him, strengthened him. He's delivered. You are delivered. Go in peace in Jesus' name. Yes, we move on to the uh, media section. Miracle explosion in the social media. We begin at Nasarawa State. Sister Grace Isaiah from Lafia region in Nasarawa State. She has been having difficulty in urinating, which lasted for three years. But she received her miracle immediately after the prayer of the man of God on Sunday evening. Praise the Lord. The next testifier is brought new Samuel. I thank God for forgiveness of my sin. I receive salvation to my soul. I have joy in my life. Praise God. And now we go to River State, South South Nigeria, Omoku region, live. Praise thy Lord. My name is Sister Chie Rossia. My testimony goes like this. My testimony goes like this. I've been having problems with my, my stomach for, for some years now. I find it difficult. Each time I'm, each time I'm hungry, each time I'm hungry, I have this sensation, the pain. The pain will be so severe. So when I went to the hospital, they gave me medicine. I've been taking this medicine, but... Yeah. But when I when I complain to the if I have pain in my stomach and they gave me painkiller, the pain will be so severe. But when I came on Saturday, today, came on today, so the pastor asked everybody to lay hand on their tummy. I lay my hand on it on my tummy, and after the prayer on Sunday, I went to the church. That Sunday, I didn't go eat. I went to the church till 2 o'clock, and I didn't receive that sensation. I am healed, totally healed. Praise thy Lord. Hallelujah. We proceed to Ibadan, or your state, south-south Nigeria, live. Southwest Nigeria, Ibadan, or your state. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have with me here, Sister. By the grace of God, she came to this crusade. She was having serious problem. The blockage in the throat, in the chest, and she was having pain, radiating all to, the, to her back and all over her body. But by the grace of God, by the time she came here, when the man of God prayed, God touched her, and she was instantly healed. By the grace of God, now, praise Sister 
Esther clearly. She had pain on her right side and the lower part of her abdomen. But by the grace of God, when she attended this crusade, the man of God prayed. After the prayer of the man of God, the pains completely disappear. And she's completely praised the name of the Lord. Perpetual Samuel came to the crusade. She had problems in her ears and in her ear lobes. Everything was blocked. And she was sensing some movement in her ears. But by the grace of God, when she attempted this crusade, and the general superintendent prayed under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, all the problems disappeared. Praise. Feel free to clap. Rejoice with them. Rebecca. Yes. Now we go to Ilori Quara State. Ilori Quara State, Southwest Nigeria. Praise the Lord. Our uh, mommy testified of the, the goodness of God in her life. Her name is Monday Esther. She came from Treasure Land District, about the group in Illinois here. Uh, she had been having leg pain for a very long time. After the pastor's prayer on Thursday, she discovered that something like a pulse came out of her leg and she had a perfect healing. Praise the Lord. Um, we also have another testimony from uh, a sister here. We, she testified of the wonderful things the Lord has done for her. The uh, day we started the program on Thursday, she had this cough that has been persisting for a very, very long time. But after the pastor's prayer, immediately she would discover that the cough was not there again. She got home. Usually when she gets home, she will cough. Over the night, she will cough. But she discovered that she couldn't cough again after that prayer. Praise the Lord. We now proceed to Plateau States. Jaws, Plateau States. We now take testimonies from the social media. We have Sister Ojo. I want to thank God for his healing upon my life. I'm healed from pain at my left side, left side of my rib. Praise the Lord. Sister Joyce Fury. Praise the Lord. My girl had a problem with her right eye. By the grace of God, it is fine now. God has done it. Praise the Lord. Brother Adeboro Johnson, I'm from Futa. I'm healed from left side chest pain, forever delivered. Praise the Lord. Another person, Nelson John, from Ikorodu, I broke my knee bone. But after the prayer of the pastor, I'm now able to walk well without pain. Praise the Lord. And now we go to Ghana. And now we go to Ghana. Ghana, West Africa. I am saved by 
God's grace. When I wake up this morning, I was feeling sharp in at my tummy. But this evening it was scented. And from the beginning of the program, I was feeling but after the GS prayer. I said I was pressing it to feel if the pain was still there. But everything disappeared. I thank God for healing. And still from the social media, Promise Igwe came with a very big fever. But after the prayer of the man of God, he became healed and that pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. Brother Aqua Philip testified from Daudu district in Goma region, Benue State. Over 10 years knee pain gone during the program and also healed of severe heartburn and slight forehead ache tonight at Divine Connection. Praise the Lord. Kuye Justice wrote, I backslided and have been habitually rising and falling. But today, I have been restored. Praise the Lord. Now we go to Uyo Akwaibon State live. After Uyo, we come down here. We take uh, two, three more before we round off. Just be patient. We are not done yet. Miracle on your way. Yes, Uyo, please go ahead. We return to base and return to the social media if we have the time. It's back to you, sir. One more from social media. From the social media, we also have Brother Abel Danjuma. He wants to thank the Lord for getting the salvation of his soul at this program. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. As the Lord is working here, the Lord is working in various parts of the country and outside the country. This global divine connection, the blessing of God will be permanent in the life of all participants and in the life of every one of us in Jesus' name. Let's have the next testifier quickly from here. Please be very brief. We want to take as many as possible before we round up. Go straight to the point. Tell us what the Lord has done for you. My name is Cecilia Yaukubu. Last year, October, before I joined a Deeper Life, I was not a Deeper Life member. I was, but on my hand, I was having lumps. It grows every day and, and, get, and the pain gets worse every day. I was just watching Daddy on television, pray, preaching. When he said that, when he declared that wherever you are, whether you are in the church, wherever you are in the part of the world, as we are listening to him, you shall get your healing. Instantly, the lungs disappeared. And yesterday and today, I was having serious pain. But now, to the, to, to the shame of the devil, the pain has disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lump gone, pain gone, to the shame of the devil, and to the glory of our God. Amen. Next testifier. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nineteen ninety four November, is Sojita Bangba, Ni Lucano, Nick by a Moja to lot to Lucy. So Bonnie Batti be so to me Lucy is to ti a wa sewo si aya mi ti ti o ba hi ti da be ni pe ilopo yen wa ile oyin yen ma wa ile sugbon mu wa dupe lowo olorun nigbati mo lo si isoji ta ngbagba yi olorun gbo kan mi la ni igba to gbo kan mi la omiran na ni igbati mo tude ni igba to ma yori bayi ibi to gba wa 
aya mi bere si ni koruko Jesu omi naran ni si se kini o wo le lo pada mo ndupe lowo olorun mu nfi ogo fun olorun ni ojo oni olorun fun mi ni omo marun abi beyin mi omo odun merinla fun ogo olorun baba mi ninu oluwa oji oni ti yin okan sore yin la mu sanra okan to ba bo mirin a bo mirin pada loruko Jesu eri keji ni pe mo la isoro koja to ye pe eh la koko yen mi o le dide to ye pe eh hospital meje lo ko mi ni lo abuja yi sugbon mo dupe agbara olorun gbe mi dide o nkan to wa nsele ni pe lati gba na tin ba sun ibusu tin si te o diba tin ba tin ba wa dide a wa dide risoke mo wa dupe lowo olorun ni osu kerin ti baba wa mo si lo si clinic mo ti fe lo gba ogun pe kan sa fun mi logun ara riro ni pastor ti mo ba nbe brother o ni lo lati ma gba nkan won yi gbogbo ogun tun lo yi o tun da wa ala ni mo se bi okan mi se so ji ni igbagbo wa so ji pa inu eto ni mo ma wa yi so ji mo wa kini mo wa tun wa o orun ninu osun na olowo o mi san mo wa bere si ni sha yewo pe emi ti ile mu ma nsun ori taisi mu ma nsun mu wa nsun ori ibusun mu wa ri pe ko ma lo pe ko si yonu e ba mi yin oluwa logo e ba mi yin oluwa logo ejo olorun yo ran wa lowo interpretation is the lord praise the living jesus our brother is testifying for the goodness of the Lord, what the Lord has done in, in his life. He first of all testified for the salvation of his soul. When our father in the Lord came to Kano in 1994, he gave his life to Christ. He has, he has a problem that he has been battling with in his family, the uh, problem of barrenness. They can, his wife cannot take in. If his wife take in, he will just abort again. Everything will just vanish. And when he came to this program, both the, he, gave, he gave his life to Christ and all the problems and, the, and, and he's giving testimony of how God healed him from the sickness of hypertension. He has hypertensive and when our father in the Lord came in April, he got healed. Praise the living Jesus. The very last one now, the rest of us will testify in our district what the Lord has done. The last testifier now. Praise the Lord. And your new logo. I want to testify to the goodness of the Lord. In April, when Papa came here, I was diagnosed of uh, prostate enlargement. It was so confirmed. And before then, I have been on drugs. But I just determined that in this April, as soon as I set my eyes on Papa, and this thing must stop. You know, that to around about five times before day break, I will be going to the toilet, urinating five times. I will not be able to sleep. But to the glory of God on that day, as soon as Papa stepped in here and he was uh, introduced, I fell on his knee. And immediately, I went to the toilet. By the time I came back, and I, I mean, after the closing, I went back home, that particular night, I want to tell you that I did not even urinate for once till daybreak. Then, the following, the third day, I went to the hospital to confirm what has happened to me. Alas, when I was tested, they said my prostrate is gone and my prostrate is very, very normal. Praise the Lord. Very, very normal. Praise the Lord. I am from Put your hands together. I am brother David Oladipoko from Orozo region, Abundant Life. Up district. Amen. Connection. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord is good to us. The Lord is glorious. The Lord.